this segment today, we're going to unbox the Armor 100 kit and inventory its contents. Okay, we're here with all the components to the kit out on the table here. You should take them out, put them on your kitchen table or your kitchen counter. First thing is grab your documents. You have your user guide and your manual on how to use the Armor 100 along with the contents. So pick that up first to make sure we have everything in the inventory. First we're going to have loose, three pistons, three of the end caps, four of the retainer rings, a piston install tool, one of the bean bags, one of the cartridges, a, a, a cylinder um, adapter kit, two small cylinders, and two large cylinders. The last two items is your Armor arm 100. You hit the quick release, stack out the other last cartridge that's pre-assembled, and that's your complete inventory. First thing we're going to do is show you how to assemble a cartridge. Take the cartridge here, stand it up, take your piston install tool, put it right on top. Take your piston, push it down here with your thumb. Sometimes you can push it all the way down, but I like to take one of the cylinders and just complete pushing it down the rest of the way. It makes it a little easier. Once that's in, we take our bean bag, just fold it in half a little bit, stuff it down in there. Take our end cap and push it down in there. Now, we take one of the large cylinders here, lightly put it in there, because we don't want to push it in real hard or throw it in there, because it'll pierce it. Then we'll put our retaining ring on the end, and you have a assembled cartridge. We have one that comes with your kit already that I pulled out earlier and showed you, that sh shows you basically how the piston, bean bag, and end cap is assembled. Look, make sure it's the same, and you're ready to go. After you have a cartridge is assembled already with the piston, bean bag, and end caps. There's another option for practicing. You can use an adapter which is made up of this sleeve that slides in. You can use a small cylinder like a CO2 for practice, slide it in. Then you have a pusher with one of the retainer rings on it that you simply push in until it's flush. Now you're ready to use a practice round with the adapter. Now we're going to talk about how to use the Armor 100. First thing we're going to do is cover the product itself. First, we've got a barrel. In front of it is a sight. In the middle is what we call a breech with a quick release, which you just simply push, it opens and closes. The next thing is you have a safety, open, set. Next thing is pulling back the thumb actuator. This actually fires the nitrogen. So basically leave it uncocked for now. Simply take your preloaded cartridges, which we already covered, drop it right in there, close it up, Make sure the safety is on, pull it back, all you have to do is use the thumb actuator gently, pull it and fire it. Okay, once you've loaded your armor, there's three ways to set your slide trigger. First, you just put it on your chest, pull the slide trigger back and set it. The second way is to get your piston install tool, just simply put it on the counter, put the launcher right on it, Push it down and twist it over. That's the second way of doing it. The third way is you can simply get an edge, push down on it, and your slide trigger will go right into place. Okay, this segment we're going to talk about cleaning and maintenance on the Arma 100. Basically, you stand it up on end, you're going to twist the handle off counterclockwise. Okay, so take and lay this down. If you do, there's some washers. Make sure that you keep track of those. Okay, the handle is pretty easy on the slide mechanism. You just take the thumb actuator, unscrew it, take the hammer out, and basically you've got a spring. Watch the spring. One end is narrower than the other. Make sure you remember that the narrow end always goes in. But I typically just lay the parts out how they came out so I don't forget. So it's real easy. You can wash the inside of this out with soap and water and let it dry. Once it's done being dry, as well as the hammer and or the spring, if they're dirty, clean them really well and let them dry. Once they're dry, take a regular bar of soap. You just simply rub it on the actuator hammer. You can put the spring back in. Line it up, put the thumb actuator back in, screw it into position, stand it back up, 
washers back in place. Screw it right back in place. What you want to do is when it gets a little snug, turn it to where it just gets to about the middle of the breech. So you got easy operation still. And that's it. Never use oils of any kind on this product. Because all I do is track dirt. That's it. There is no special training needed. You just have to follow the simple steps and within 15 minutes you can defend yourself. The R100 is legal to carry and use. It was reviewed by the ATF and under their determination it will not be regulated if used by the general public as a non-lethal weapon. Actually it's not a new product. Like a lot of products on the market, we first used police as well as recovery agents to use the product for some time. Now we're prepared to release it to the general public.